Have you ever planned time to work on a project and then as you get going you realize it's going to take longer than you'd planned to, to complete this project? So how do we think about this ongoing pattern? How do we resolve it? How do we improve our time management so that we don't have to keep uh, getting rushed at the end of it? Or you know, canceling other projects because we didn't plan enough time. So, so I have a couple of um, tips to share with you here. One is as you get more experience working on projects in that area and as you notice how long things take, you will be able to in the future plan more time to work on them so that you can plan time more accurately to work on them. So for example, I just added into my regular calendar one more hour per week to prepare my workshops. I had thought that two hours a week was enough time, but now, you know, a couple months in uh, to doing my new format of online workshops, I realized, you know, I really need an additional hour per week to prepare for the workshop or do various logistics. So, you know, as I mentioned, as I grew in experience in doing a new type of project, I observe how long things take. I can then plan more time into my regular calendar so that I don't have to feel so rushed. Okay, so that's number one. Observe how long things take and then be willing to plan more time or, 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 or change the time more accurately uh, in, your, in your schedule. Second tip is that you may be dealing with some perfectionism, some fear of judgment, uh, and that might be why things are taking you so long. So another example uh, in my own work recently is that I had planned an hour to do my monthly newsletter. And I started working on it, I got distracted a little bit, and, and then I noticed it was 45 minutes into the hour that I had planned and I still had a lot more to go, I felt like, to make the newsletter look amazing and et cetera, et cetera. So I had basically 15 minutes left to finish my monthly newsletter or you know cancel the next you know hour that I was gonna work on something else and work on this newsletter instead so here's what I did I said you know what I'm probably getting in the, into perfectionism here so I'm going to just do whatever I can in this final 15 minutes to send out my monthly newsletter and so I said well I'm gonna keep it really simple then so I made the monthly newsletter as sim the simplest monthly newsletter I've ever sent at least for the past couple of years because I had to finish it in that final you know in that that one hour I didn't want I didn't want to uh, impact the other activities I had planned that day so in other words I just ignored my perfectionism I ignored the feelings the fear of judgment or whatever and I just said you know I'm just gonna do it and I've said in another video that I've made to be strict about showing up and to be lenient about the results. So this is one of those examples. And so when I sent out the super simple email newsletter and I, I, I even asked at the very bottom, hey, let me know what you think about this new newsletter format that I'm trying out. And then I did get some responses back from my readers and most of them really liked it. They liked how simple it was. And I had all this, you know, so, and, and, I, and I, it was such a lesson for me because I had this, you know, uh, was building up this idea of this fancy newsletter in my head which had been what I was doing in the past and spending too much time on that my audience didn't really need you see so be strict about showing up be lenient about the results watch your perfectionism that might be taking you way longer to finish projects than it needs to be than than the world needs you to do okay so I hope these two tips are helpful Observe how long things take and be willing to adjust your ongoing schedule accordingly so you don't feel so rushed. And then secondly is beware of perfectionism. Just try to produce more rather than perfect. Perfect your projects. Produce more projects because then you'll get more experience and you'll actually become even faster at things as you produce more projects.